In this video, you're going to discover the third step you need to solve in a subnetting problem. Hi, my name is Jolanda James. I'm an AWS and CCNA certified IT professional, and I'm also the creator of the four column method subnetting cheat sheet. If you don't have it, this is the four column method subnetting cheat sheet. Please watch this video to learn how to create it. Basically, it's a simple chart that you can create on, sub on your exam day to get every subnetting question correct. Please subscribe. Okay, so now we're at this, we're at the third step of the five step subnetting process. So we've already identified the interesting octet, which is this one. We've already identified the subnetting row, which is this one. And now we need to find the block size. The block size is pretty important because it helps you to figure out which subnetting block you're, you're solving for. So, So for this IP address with slash 26, the block size is 64. Also, I did want to point out that this chart, the four columns, this one sub, uh, cheat sheet contains all the block sizes for cedar slash eight through slash 34, 32. So just, you only need this one cheat sheet to find the block sizes for all of the cedars. Okay, now let's show everything in action. Here we go. Okay, so step, step three is to find the block size. So if you're given this IP address with this cedar, we've already discussed that this is our subnetting row and this is our block size. So in order to write that, we would go zero and block size of 64 plus 64 would be 128 plus 64 would be 192 and plus 64 would be 256 and these would be the individual subnets okay although this one wouldn't count because there's nothing past 256 but you need it in order to complete this column. So that's how you get the block size and I'll show you what that looks like. So the um, the ranges would be zero. So this is this one, 64, this is this one, 128, which would be this one. These are the network, network, network addresses, see? The next one would be 192. And so this is how you would, you would use the block size in order to figure out which subnet, which subnet, I'm sorry, which area to, and then you can find the first, the last, all of that good stuff. Okay, so now you can see why you need the block size. So to summarize, the third step is to find the block size. And all you gotta do is look at column four for the block size. Please subscribe.